Welcome and thank you for joining the Mississippi State Department of Health for a brief presentation about the COVID-19 therapeutic to be used in special populations, the combination monoclonal antibody Evushel. In this presentation, we will cover the drug itself and its authorized use, its target populations, safety and dosing, preparation and administration, its reimbursement and its sourcing and required reporting. Evushel was made available by the federal government in late December, 2021 at no cost to the state of Mississippi or individual patients. This medication was issued an emergency use authorization for the pre-exposure prophylaxis or prevention of COVID-19 in adults and adolescents aged 12 and older who weigh 40 kilograms or more with moderate to severe immune compromise due to a medical condition or immunosuppressive medications and who may not mount an adequate immune response to COVID-19 vaccination. This medication is a combination of two recombinant human IgG 1K long-acting monoclonal antibodies, tixagevimab and silgavimab. This class of drugs is not new as the first monoclonal antibody was generated in 1975 and the first of the products was fully licensed in 1986. These antibodies bind to separate regions of the SARS-CoV-2 protein and offer 77% reduction in incidence of symptomatic illness when compared to placebo. We encourage you to read the emergency use authorization fact sheet for providers and a link is provided in this presentation. This authorization is subject to change. Always refer to the most recent emergency use authorization. Briefly, at present, the drug is authorized for the pre-exposure prophylaxis of COVID-19 in adults and adolescents who are 12 years of age and older and weigh 40 kilograms or more who are not currently infected with SARS-CoV-2 and have no known recent exposure to an infected individual and have moderate to severe immune compromise and may not mount an adequate immune response to COVID-19 vaccination or have a contraindication to receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. There are limitations to the authorized use. Treatment of COVID-19 with Evushel is not indicated. Use for post-exposure prophylaxis of COVID-19 is not indicated. Use as pre-exposure prophylaxis is not a substitute for vaccination in individuals for whom COVID-19 vaccination is indicated. An extensive list of medical conditions or treatments which place an individual in the target population to receive Evusheld is available in the emergency use authorization. This chart is not all inclusive, but conditions that should be noted are active treatment for solid tumor or hematologic malignancies, solid organ transplant patients, especially during the first year post-transplant, recipients of CAR T-cell or hematopoietic stem cell transplants, moderate or severe primary immunodeficiency, advanced or untreated HIV infection, active treatment with a number of medications and biologic agents listed here and in the emergency use authorization. Evusheld is a safe product with the most common adverse effects being headache, fatigue, and cough, though with little variance from placebo. Evusheld is dosed as two separate intramuscular injections, which contain 300 milligrams of tixagevimab and 300 milligrams 
of silgavimab, respectively. No dose adjustments must be made for renal or hepatic impairment. If a qualifying individual has already received the previously authorized dose in the previous emergency use authorization of 150 milligrams of tixagevimab and 150 milligrams of silgavimab, he or she should receive an additional dose of 150 milligrams tixagevimab and 150 milligrams of silgavimab as soon as possible. Information for your pharmacy and nursing personnel is on this slide. Each Evyshell carton contains two vials, one containing 150 milligrams or 1.5 milliliters of tixagevimab and one containing 150 milligrams or 1.5 milliliters of silgavimab. They must be stored at 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit they must not be frozen or shaken. The product should be stored in the original carton to protect it from light. When the medication is administered, patients are given a copy of the fact sheet for patients and caregivers. Three milliliters of tixagevimab solution and three milliliters of silgavimab solution or 1.5 milliliters of tixagevimab solution and 1.5 milliliters of silgavimab solution if the individual has already received the previously authorized dose, are withdrawn in two separate syringes. Two separate injection sites should be used in sequence in the left and right gluteal muscles. These sites are preferable because of the large volume of the dose. Recipients are then clinically monitored for one hour. Patients cannot be billed for the medication because Evusheld was purchased and is allocated by the United States government. Providers may bill an administration fee and this slide provides information about billing in several populations. There is no mechanism for providers, hospitals, or pharmacies to place orders for Evusheld. HPOP, or Health Partner Order Portal, is the site where administering providers have been enrolled so they can receive the medications allocated by the federal government and distributed by Mississippi State Department of Health Pharmacy. There is required reporting of courses administered, and courses available that must be performed daily by the end of business. Mississippi State Department of Health Pharmacy monitors HPOP data and distributes the antibody based on availability and utilization. All serious adverse events or medication errors potentially related to Evusheld must be reported to MedWatch using the form available here. We have provided a list of resources and will provide a Word document with links found in this presentation. Please send questions to C19therapeutics at msdh.ms.gov and we will work to answer them and support you in the treatment of this vulnerable population. Thank you for the time you have dedicated to listening to this presentation.